Are you looking for a Class C RV that's easy to drive and easy to set up? Well, stick around, folks. We found three awesome floor plans of Class C RVs that are perfect for beginners. Hey everybody, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit that notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get started on our reviews of Class C RVs that are perfect for beginners. This Class C is the Coachman Freelander model number 27QB. It measures in at 29 feet 6 inches long. It has a max towing capacity of 5,000 pounds and it can sleep up to 6 people. When you first walk into this motorhome on the right hand side, you'll notice a nice comfy couch plus the driver's cab and over cab and then your dinette which wraps around into your kitchen area. Then we have a mid split bathroom in here and behind me is where the bedroom is located. Now here I am at the very front of this motorhome and the first thing you'll notice is the big over cab area. It's got the full width of the RV so it's probably going to be about eight feet and it is and as far as the depth on it goes it is a full 60 inches deep so you have a really large sleeping area up there for either two adults or two kids to be able to sleep. I'm also impressed with the amount of headroom here it's really a good comfortable amount. I know some of you will ask so I'll just measure it now you have about 25 inches of headroom up there so not too bad. There's also a TV on a swing arm up here. So whether you're laying up in the over cab and want to watch TV or you're sitting on your comfy couch, you can watch TV from either location. Now the driver's cab is a very nice fit, but one thing that they've done in this coach to help make it even more comfortable is they've scalloped out the back of the dinette wall so you can back the driver's seat up as far as possible. So those of us with longer legs or taller folks, you have plenty of leg room to be able to go on a long drive and stay nice and comfy. So here I am sitting at the dinette and it's a good sized dinette. I would say that you could seat four people here very, very comfortably. In addition to that, you've got these really nice sized storage cabinets overhead, a couple of lights underneath. There's also a receptacle here underneath the cabinets. So if you're working it, your dinette table or you just need a computer plugged in so you can look up fun activities or plan your next route to your next campground. You can plug in and stay charged up. There's also a really nice big window here that opens up so you can get some fresh air into your RV. Finally, the dinette table does drop down and you can convert this into a bed. And if you did that, you would have about, ah, I'm losing it. Gosh, almost 80 inches of space. Sorry about that, 70 inches of space. And it would be about 42 inches wide. So not quite six feet. Uh, so maybe a kid or a smaller adult would be able to fit here okay. And I also wanna mention that underneath of both of the dinette booths, there is open storage there as well. Now here I am on the couch right across from the dinette table and this is a very comfortable couch I have to say. Each end has an armrest that folds down and it has a cup holder in it or if you want more space you just fold it on up. The other reason you might want to fold it up is because this is a jackknife sofa and so if you have someone else that's sleeping in here just grab it from underneath push it all down and you have another bed. Now the size of this bed is going to end up being somewhere in the neighborhood of five feet by about 40 inches. So again, another kid could uh, sleep on the jackknife sofa very comfortably. So here I am in the kitchen area, and this is a really nice L-shaped kitchen countertop. It's very compact, but also very, very usable. Now, the first thing you'll notice that there's a large single bowl sink in here with a big gooseneck faucet overhead. As we wrap around the countertop area, you have lots of space. And there's also this tower of power here. So if you want to plug in a coffee maker or a toaster, you can certainly do that. There's also a window above to get some natural light in here. And then finally, we have a three burner propane stove. Below your stove, you've got a couple of drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils. And there's another cabinet located under the kitchen sink with even more storage space. 
Overhead, we have a microwave oven and another large cabinet for even more storage. The refrigerator with separate freezer in here is a very good size. It has a couple of shelves plus a nice big drawer bin on the bottom. Up top, you have a very, very large freezer. Now this is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it gives you a lot more room inside the fridge and the freezer. It runs on both battery and shore power. So here we are all the way in the back of this motorhome. We've passed the bathroom area. We'll hit that last, but we're in the owner's bedroom and this is a decent sized room. The first thing that you'll notice in here is you can walk around the bed from three different sides. So if someone needs to get out of bed in the middle of the night, hopefully they won't disturb their partner. Now the size of this bed is about 80 inches by 60 inches so we have a queen size residential bed in here which is fantastic you'll also notice that you have a couple of storage cabinets overhead also a light and then on each side there are receptacles and there's also a grommet that goes creates kind of a hole up into the cabinet so i assume if you have maybe a cpap machine or something along those lines you could put it up here pull the cable through and then plug it into the receptacle here. So something to think about if you need something like that. Now on each side of the bed, there are also wardrobe cabinets where you can hang up your garments and you've even got storage underneath of where they would hang. And there's also a drawer on each side that fully extends for even more storage. A couple other nice features in here are that there are a nice big window on each side of the bedroom. These windows do open and so you can get a nice cross breeze in here. There's also an emergency exit window at the back of the RV. It's not really usable for opening because it doesn't have a screen, but it does let additional light in here. Now your TV mounting would go right here in this area on the wall, and then you've got a receptacle and your cable rough in here. Perfect location for being able to lay in bed and watch TV before you drift off to sleep. So here I am in one half of the bathroom. I'm in the shower and the way this bathroom is set up is the shower is on this side of the hallway when you're walking back towards the bedroom and your commode and vanity sink are on the other side where Susan's standing right now shooting video of me. The advantage of a split bathroom like this is if someone's in here taking a shower, someone else can be using the other bathroom to either go to the bathroom or you know, brush their teeth, put on their makeup, whatever they might be doing. So it works out really, really well. Now, this shower is a very nice shower. I think that the surround in here really pops. It just looks great with the white and black look to it. There's also a shampoo and soap holder here on the side wall. Of course, it has a wand that you can remove. And then we've got headroom to consider. Now the headroom in here in the skylight area, let's see what that measures up to. It's about six feet almost six inches in here so a good amount of headroom inside the shower for you taller folks and that's even after i had to step up almost 16 inches to get up and into the shower and then finally it does have a shower door which is sort of a curtain but it's on a track which swings out and away from the shower so i really like this kind of setup now Susan and I switch places. She's standing in the shower shooting video across the hallway into, I guess, the powder room side of the bathroom. So in here, you'll find that you have a very nice vanity in here with some countertop space. There's a mirror and a towel ring loaded, located above. To my right-hand side here is a very large storage cabinet with uh, three shelves in there so you can store things away. And then behind me and overhead, there's a corner cabinet up above for even more storage. Now, as far as the elbow test goes in here, I'm not really gonna pass the elbow test per se, but it doesn't feel like it's too small of a bathroom at all. This Class C RV is the Gulfstream Conquest, model number 6280LE. It measures in at 30 feet even, has a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to six people. When you first walk into this motorhome on the right hand side, you'll find the living and dinette area as well as the owner's cabin over cab. As you wrap around, you end up into the kitchen and then we have a mid split bath and behind me is where the bedroom is located. So here I am at the front of this motorhome and the first thing I always look at is the driver's cab. Now this seat is fully extended all the way back and it is not running into the dinette which is a great feature. I've sat in the driver's seat and I fit in there very, very comfortably. Now I'm 5'11". I think if you're taller than me, 
it might be a bit of a squeeze for leg room at least. So that's always something to consider when you're looking at a Class C RV. Now the over cab up here is really, really nice and roomy. It's the full width of the RV. So I'm pretty darn sure it's gonna measure in at eight feet even, and it does. And then as far as the width goes, we're at about 46 inches. So I would say two adults, definitely two children could sleep up here. I'm also impressed with the headroom that you have up here. And this RV has about 28 inches of headroom. So that's pretty impressive. Now you'll also notice up here, they have a little space built in up front with some open storage area. And this end would be the head of the bed. You have a window here. You've also got a couple of USB ports. So if you're sleeping up here, you can charge your phones or electronic devices overnight. On the other end of the bed is where you would mount your TV. Up in the ceiling, you'll notice that a receptacle and the cable ports are all pre-wired for you so you can hang your TV. Now, just behind the passenger seat is where this really comfy couch is located. This is a good position because you'll be able to see the TV from here while you're reclining in your RV. And this also jackknifes out into a bed, which it's a little stiff because it's brand new. But this bed ends up being about 66 inches by about 42 inches wide. So you know, a smaller adult or certainly a kid would be able to sleep on here very, very easily. Right across from the sofa is where the dinette is located and four people could easily sit in this dinette and be very, very comfortable. A couple things to notice here are that you've got these nice big cabinets overhead for plenty of storage. On the underside of the cabinets, there are a couple of lights, but there's also a receptacle and two USB ports up there. So if you're working at your dinette table on the computer, you can charge or you can also charge your phone, tablets, any, any electronic devices that you have. Too often we see the uh, receptacles located on the dinette booth underneath, very, very difficult to get to. So at least these are in a very accessible position. I also love this big window over top of the dinette. It does open so you can get some airflow through here. And then finally, you can drop the table down in here and turn your dinette into a bed as well. Now, if you choose to do that, your dinette would end up being, oh, about 66 inches by about 42 inches wide. So I would say a small adult or a child would, able to be, would be able to sleep here too. So here I am in the kitchen area, and this is a very efficient kitchen. If you consider all three of your most important appliances in your kitchen, your fridge, your sink, and your stove, and your microwave is all right here. So everything's within arm's reach. Very, very compact and efficient. And I also love the fact that it's in an L shape because it gives you all this extra countertop space, which is just phenomenal. So the first thing I notice in here is that we have a big giant single bowl, round sink with a gooseneck faucet over top. We do have a window here over top of the countertop space. And then finally, we have a three burner stove with a real oven located down below. Now, while we're down here, you also get a bank of drawers that fully extend to stow away all your kitchen utensils. And then of course, there's even more storage under the kitchen sink. Over top of your kitchen countertop, you've got two nice big cabinets here. One has a fixed shelf in place, the other's wide open. And then of course, you have a microwave oven. Now, right across from this side of the kitchen, we have our refrigerator, which is a great size refrigerator and also a separate freezer, which we definitely love. This is a fantastic size for a larger Class C motorhome like this. And this is also a 12 volt refrigerator, which means it runs on shore power or battery power. So here we are in the owner's bedroom all the way in the back of this RV. And the first thing you wanna note about this is that you can get out of bed on both sides, which is always a plus especially if one of your partners gets up to use the bathroom, hopefully they won't disturb the other. Now the bed size in here runs about 74 inches by 60 inches. So it would be considered an RV short queen size bed. Now, when you do walk in here, even though you can walk around both sides of the bed, you do have to note that there's a step up to get up here to walk around the bed. So I don't know how you might feel about that. I feel like I'm really tall in here. And just so you know, the headroom in this RV, while I'm standing on this part, there is six feet, two inches of space. But from the floor in here, there's a full seven feet to the ceiling. So 
you know, that may or may not work for you depending on how tall you are. Now, one other thing to note is just next to me here, this is where you would mount your TV. There's a receptacle and KB, cable TV pre-wires overhead. And that's a great spot for your TV because you can lay in bed while you watch TV at night. There's also a wardrobe cabinet on each side of the bed. You can hang your garments up in here. And then there are a couple of drawers underneath that fully extend for even more storage. I also wanna note, there are a couple of USB ports on each side of the bed so you can charge your electronic devices overnight. And finally, just above the bed, and there's a big window over the bed as well, but you have these nice storage cabinets up here for all of your clothes. So here I am in the bathroom. Susan's actually standing in the master bedroom and shooting out towards the front of the RV. Now this bathroom is split in half. So the shower's on one side of the hallway and the powder room is on the other, which is a great design because someone can be taking a shower while the other person is brushing their teeth or going to the bathroom or whatever they need to do. Now a really cool feature is they do take the powder room door here and this will open and it's got a little magnet so it'll hold the door in place but this also creates a little privacy from the front half of the RV and then you have full access of your bathroom here as well. Now I'm standing in the shower currently and uh, shower in here feels pretty decent. There looks to be a ton of headroom in here. Let's get a good measurement on this. Yeah that's what I thought. Six feet 10 inches of headroom inside the shower. Very, very impressive. The shower also has a very nice surround built in. It's got three corner shelves for your shampoo and soap. It also has a retractable shower door. So here I am in the other side of the bathroom known as maybe the powder room. And in here, there's a really big medicine cabinet. Super big door, three shelves in here for you to store things. Behind me here is just a mirror on the wall. And then down below that, we have a very nice wide vanity top with plenty of countertop space, a receptacle located over top so you can plug in your hair dryer or shaver. This even comes with extra countertop space or a sink cover. So you can make some extra countertop space in here. And then there's additional storage down below the sink. Now, I'm sitting on the commode in here. I'm not gonna pass the elbow test on that side, but on this side, looking good. This Class C motorhome is the Thor Quantum LC22. It measures in at 24 feet, one inch long, has a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to six people. When you first walk into this Class C motorhome on the right-hand side, you have the driver's cab and the over cab. As we wrap on around, we have the dinette and the kitchen area. Finally, the bed is back here in the corner, and the bathroom is right behind me. So here I am in the front of this motorhome. I just walked in through the entrance door. And my first impression in here is it looks really, really nice in here. The, de the decor is a very nice color. And even though there's no slides in here, it does feel like a very good size RV. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the driver's cab up front. And whenever I look at a driver's cab, the first thing I look at is what's behind the driver's seat. Because we own a Class C RV. And one of the big problems with it is I can't extend the seat back far enough because it runs into the dinette. And this RV is made the same way. So if you're a taller person, longer legs, you know, you might have a little bit of a problem being able to drive this. Now the over cab up top is huge. It extends the whole entire width of the RV, which is eight feet and it is 53 inches wide. So I would say two adults, definitely two children could sleep up here very easily. There's also a little ledge all the way up at the front where you can store some things and there's a couple of cup holders up there as well. And of course, there's a window on the side and a vent overhead so you can get a little bit of uh, cross air ventilation up here. Now there's also a nice size TV on a swing arm. So you can either watch TV in the over cab or swing the TV out and watch TV from your dinette. So here I am at the dinette table, and I like this dinette. I think you could seat four people here rather easily. I love the fact that there's a nice big window overhead. We have a couple of lights on the underside of the storage cabinet, plus a couple of speakers, and we have some fantastic storage room up top. Now, if you wanna convert this dinette into a bed, you certainly can do that. The table will drop down and you can rearrange your cushions. And if you do that, you would end up with about six feet by uh, like 42 inches of space. So, you know, a smaller adult, maybe a, a larger kid or two small kids could sleep here, sleep here pretty easily.
Now the kitchen area is right across from the dinette and starting up top you have this really nice door with a white glass inset. Very, very pretty. You have an adjustable shelf for your storage, which is fantastic. A lot of shelves are just built in place, but this one has an adjustable shelf, which is a plus. Then you've got some storage above your microwave oven. Microwave oven itself, three burner propane range, and down below that you have a big pots and pans drawer. Also below that you have another big pots and pans drawer. Finally, you have your kitchen sink here, which has the cover on it. Now, this is a smaller sized sink, but they really didn't have much room to work with. And so you would use your cover and also your extend a countertop to gain more countertop space in this layout. Of course, it's got a gooseneck faucet with an integral sprayer, which is a very nice feature as well. And finally, you have a full bank of drawers that fully extend to stow away all of your kitchen utensils. The refrigerator in here is a good size refrigerator, if I can get it open, and uh, you have a separate freezer up top. This is a uh, absorption style refrigerator, so it would run on shore power or on propane. Down below your refrigerator, you have a nice storage cabinet underneath. Now, just behind the dinette and across from the refrigerator, there's this very nice mirrored wardrobe cabinet. It's a very tall cabinet, so if you do hang things in here, you will also have space underneath for more storage. And then below that, we have a fully extendable small drawer for additional storage. Finally, in the back corner of this RV is where the bed is located. And this bed is approximately 80 inches by... 54 inches. Now they used to make these Class C models with a 60 inch wide bed so you'd have an actual queen size bed in here. But many manufacturers have shortened them to 54 inches wide because it gives you an additional six inches in the bathroom of width. And we'll take a look at that next. I just also want to mention over top of the bed, you have cabinets that wrap all the way around two sides. So here I am in the bathroom standing in the shower like I usually am. And there's a good amount of headroom in here, especially inside the skylight area. We have a full six feet, nine inches of headroom in the shower. Now this shower has a very nice surround built into it. It has three corner shelves for your soap shampoo and conditioner. It also has a removable wand. And unfortunately, it comes with a shower curtain, which you guys all know that I hate, but uh, you could certainly replace this with a retractable shower door very easily and inexpensively. Just outside of the shower, we have a medicine cabinet with a few shelves for storage. Finally, a vanity top with a sink and then storage down below. Finally, I hear, here I am on the commode and with the door closed in here, Sorry folks, not gonna pass the elbow test on this one. Now that you've had a chance to check out all three of these floor plans, let us know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and why. And if you'd like to see even more Class C RVs that are perfect for beginners, just click the box down below. And Susan and I will see you in the next video.